Acceleration. Here's a word that as a physics teacher, I hear many, many people misuse. Hi, folks. I'm Mr. Panola, and today we're going to take a look at what acceleration truly is and why so many people use it incorrectly. Let's start by defining acceleration. Acceleration can be defined as a measurement of how quickly an object changes its velocity. Acceleration is a measurement of how quickly an object changes its velocity. Let's take a closer look at what that means. Here's an object. Let's see if it's accelerating and if it fits our definition. Do you think it was accelerating? I certainly do. And that's because this object increased its speed as it went along the track. If an object's speed goes up, that means its velocity is going up as well. And if you remember, acceleration is a measurement of how quickly an object changes its velocity. This cart was definitely changing its velocity. So it was accelerating because it was speeding up. Now, let's take a look at another example and see if this also is an example of acceleration. Have a watch. This, car, this time, the cart slowed down. Was that acceleration? Well, most people would think probably not, but it's actually true. That was acceleration. Why? Because the object slowed down, its velocity changed. Now, its velocity didn't increase. Its velocity instead decreased. But even a decrease in velocity is still a change in velocity. And so that car would also experience acceleration based on the fact that it changed its velocity. So if you're slowing down, you are also accelerating because your velocity is changing. Now, let's take a look at another object and see if it is accelerating. The third object we'll look at, you might be familiar with if you've watched some of my videos before. That is this train that I have here. Now, as you might remember from some of the other videos, the black train moves at a very slow speed. Let's watch. As the black train moved across the table, was it accelerating? Well, it certainly was moving, but it was not accelerating. And that's because when you think back to our definition, acceleration is a measurement of how quickly an object's velocity changes. Did this black train's velocity change? No, it didn't. It was moving at the same velocity the entire time. And therefore, even though it's moving, it is not accelerating. But what about this red train? This red train is faster than the black train. Is it accelerating when it moves across the table? Let's take a watch and look at its motion. You'll notice that the red train moved much faster across the table than the black train did. But was the red train accelerating? The answer is no, it wasn't. And that's because although the red train was moving, and it was moving at a high speed, it was not changing its speed or changing its velocity. And since the velocity didn't change, the red train was not accelerating. So whether you're moving fast like the red train or slow like the black train, if you are moving at constant speed, 
and therefore not changing how fast you're moving, you are not accelerating. Even if you're moving very fast, your acceleration is zero because your velocity hasn't changed. But here's one other example. We have a car here on the floor. I'm going to turn that car on, and I'd like you to think about whether this car is accelerating or not. Was that car accelerating? If you said yes, you'd be right. A lot of people think that car was not accelerating because it didn't change its speed. Well, that's true, but it did change the direction it was moving in. Originally, it was moving straight towards my desk, but because it was tied by this string here, it changed its direction of motion and ended up traveling towards the sink on the other end of the room. So, even though this car didn't change its speed, it changed its velocity, because velocity is a vector quantity, and it depends on direction. So, this car changed direction, that means it changed its velocity, and that means it accelerated. Welcome back, folks. Now let's take a look at acceleration and see if we can use some numbers to represent what's going on. To do that, I have a speedometer set up on my screen, and I have a man that's going to push a box on a skateboard. Watch the motion of the box. You'll notice that the box is definitely accelerating. That's because it keeps getting faster. Look at the numbers on the speedometer. The speed keeps going up, and the box keeps getting faster and faster. It's accelerating because it's speeding up. But let's take a closer look at this box's acceleration. We're going to go back in time a little bit. Originally, the box was at rest. Its speed was zero meters per second. However, then it started moving. And at about one second into its motion, the box was moving, if I can get my video to stop at the right place, at exactly two meters per second. That means one second passed, and the box's speed was two meters per second. Now, more time continued to pass. Another second later, and the box's speed was exactly four meters per second. And notice I'm using my gauge on the bottom to figure out how much time has passed. So after one second, it was moving at two meters per second. After two seconds, it was moving at four meters per second. Notice it keeps getting faster, but it also keeps getting faster by the same amount. Let's continue. After three seconds, the box was moving at six meters per second. How fast do you think it's going to be moving after four seconds? You probably guessed it, eight meters per second. So what you'll notice is that the box is increasing its speed by two meters per second every second. That doesn't mean that the box is traveling two meters every second. That would mean it was going at constant speed. But instead, the box's speed is increasing or going up by two meters per second for every second that it was in motion. Now let's take a look at another example here. This box you're going to see already moving when I hit play at a speed of 40 meters per second. But the man is going to come in and apply a force that will make it slow down. Remember, slowing down is still accelerating because your velocity is changing. Have a watch. Here it is at 40 meters per second. Now the man is going to apply a force the other way and the box will start slowing down. Notice the speed is dropping. The speed is decreasing, and eventually, 
that speed is going to go to zero. Now, we know the speed is going to keep going down, but let's look at how quickly that speed went down. If we go back to the beginning, we'll remember that our box was originally moving at 40 meters per second. But then the man applied a force to the box, which caused it to slow down, as you're seeing happening. This is the box at exactly one second into its motion. Notice its speed, 38 meters per second. It's less than its speed originally was. It went from 40 meters per second down to 38 meters per second after one second had passed. Let's take a look at what happens after two seconds. We'll find it on our video. Here it is. After exactly two seconds pass, the box is moving at 36 meters per second, slower than before. It went from 40 meters per second to 38 meters per second to 36 meters per second. How fast do you think the box is going to be moving three seconds into its motion? Well, let's take a look. We'll try to find it on our scroll bar. Here it is, 34 meters per second. If that's what you thought, you were exactly right. Notice that the speed of the box keeps decreasing or going down by four meters per second every second. That means that this box has a negative acceleration because its speed is decreasing. So this box is changing its speed by two meters per second for every second that is motion that it that it is in motion just like the last box however since this box is slowing down it's really changing its velocity by negative two meters per second for every second that it moves so i hope you learned something today about acceleration remember acceleration is a measurement of how quickly an object changing it changes its velocity. That can mean that an object speeding up is accelerating, an object slowing down is accelerating, or an object just changing directions is accelerating. But objects that move at constant speed, even though they're moving, have no acceleration. They might be in motion, but their velocity is not changing. Also, when talking about acceleration, it's really important to look at how quickly the velocity is changing. We just saw two examples of that. The first object increased its speed or increased its velocity by two meters per second for every second that it was in motion. The other object still had an acceleration because it was slowing down, but it decreased its speed by two meters per second for each second that it was in motion. And so therefore, its velocity changed by minus two meters per second for each second it was in motion. Thanks for learning a bit about acceleration today. And I hope you can now use that word properly when discussing it in physics.